When it comes to growing your open source adoption, of course, we've already mentioned you need a kick-ass product and you need to make it easier. But the last step is really important, and that is making people aware that your product exists and that it can solve their needs. And we do that through a variety of different activities. And we're going to talk to you from the marketing, from the community, from the DevRel perspective, what you can do. All of these are critical to grow that adoption, but people need to find you, find that they can use your product easy and find that your product is kick-ass enough that it actually meets their needs. If you get all three, you're going to see adoption just soar. From an awareness perspective, getting people to find your open source project is absolutely critical to see the adoption grow. If you have a great product and it's easy to use, but people can't find it or don't know about it, they're not going to adopt. So the first key to growing adoption is that community. And we've talked a little bit about having and building the community previously, but from a community perspective, one of the things that is really, really important is to enable your community to share their experiences and share their knowledge. The community is a force multiplier they're going to potentially go out there and tell other people about their positive experience with your product. And you want to foster that. You want to create the flywheel where people in the community will bring in other people in the community, and then they'll bring in more. That is going to start to drive awareness. And the word of mouth is probably going to be the first and most important channel you can build for your open source community. Community is a big term. And when we talk about awareness, community is one aspect of it. Part of this is where does DevRel fit into this concept? DevRel is the idea that you are evangelizing developers about the awesomeness of your technology and how they can be successful with it. DevRel is a critical skill set, but it doesn't have to be a standalone function. A lot of people in your community, if your community is very vibrant, will provide DevRel type content. Things like tutorials, how-tos, example code, recipes, how they've been successful. That's really what you want from a DevRel function. It is absolutely vital that you are connecting with your end users. And in most cases, open source software's end users are going to be developers or other technical people. And that means you need content that can serve them and meets their needs and resonates with their current thought process. And that's where DevRel can come in and you need someone, whether that's in the community or someone dedicated to fulfill that role. Now, as we talk about awareness, one of the things that is really an outstanding thing, if you can get it, is to build external evangelists or people who are your champions in the open source ecosystem. And they become this awesome force multiplier who are doing DevRel type functions for you without having to be dedicated to your team. Let's be honest, it is way more effective to have someone who is not connected to the company or connected to the project go out there and tell everyone how awesome the product it is than if it's someone who's paid to deliver that message. It's something that if you can cultivate that external evangelist and that team of external evangelists who are going to go out there, it's a super powerful thing. You want to do that, but you also want to reward them and make sure that they feel that they're valued because they are like gold in your awareness strategy. So you want to grow awareness. We've talked a little bit about DevRel and community in their play, but there are some concrete things that you can do to grow awareness from a open source perspective, and some of them move from community to marketing back and forth. So let's talk about some of the concrete strategies that people employ to grow awareness of their open source project and eventually help with adoption. The first one is content, content, content. You need lots of great content. Content is king and it will drive people to find your website. It will drive people to get interested. It will drive people to try it out. And those are all critical steps. You also want to make sure that when you do do content, you have concrete tutorials, examples, documentation, things like that, that people will find and use. You want to make sure that when they do find it, they can be successful very, very quickly. Now, we also want to tap into any sort of news cycles, quote unquote, news jacking. So if you are a software that is focused on supply chain security, well, then when there's a supply chain issue, you want to make sure that you have blogs and other content and quotes about what's happening and be very vocal on your social media. You also want to build 
your ability to tap into your community and ecosystem by asking them to share, like, follow, you know, retweet, repost your content and help you start to get more traction in the overall ecosystem. So friends telling friends and building that word of mouth network and also having them help amplify your voice and building something for that is going to be something that is going to be very, very positive for you in the long run. We also want to make sure that our product and anything that we talk about on the website has very good messaging and positioning. It meets what people are looking for. And we want to make sure that things are easy to get started with. Again, we're back to that easy example. And if we do those things, we're going to start to see that people find us more readily on the web, on you know YouTube, on different social channels. And we'll start to see our voice be amplified. More people find us. And when they do find us, be successful in trying it out. But you need to make sure kick-ass product, awesome, easy to install, use, and be successful with is combined with an effective awareness strategy, something that is going to make people aware that you are there. If you have all three of those, you are well positioned to see the growth and adoption of your open source project really take off.